Never again will I take two scoops of this. Stick around and I'll tell you why. So what's happening guys? Hope your day's going well. Today we're going to review Pandemus, their non-stim pre-workout here. We're going to go over the ingredients so you know what you're putting in your body and we'll go over my personal experience on this bad boy. Get the flavor out of the way. This is supposed to be a green apple bubblegum flavor and on a scale of 1 to 10 this hit a 9 for me. They did a really good job because this label is packed. So the flavoring that they did was fantastic. Now getting into the ingredient profile. So right on the top, we got a one scoop, two scoop dose. This is gonna be a 40-20 serving, and one serving size is supposed to be 15.1 grams, according to Panda. And I put it on my scale, and it was 15 grams. Good job, Panda. So right on the top of the label, 11 grams of citrulline. <laughs> oh man. This whopping dose of L-citrulline is going to help with vasodilation and pumps, blood flow oxygen delivery which is going to in turn help with nutrient delivery atp production to the muscle cells for more energy more output and endurance in the gym and on a side note citrulline is actually used in the ammonia recycling cycle within the body and this is a cycle or process that uses ornithine arginine is actually used in this as well and it actually removes ammonia out of the body which can be toxic next we have betaine and hydrous at five whopping grams this is an osmolite and a methyl donor as an osmolite it's going to draw water into the cells. This helps with creatine production. It helps protect enzymes, proteins in the body, and it's a methyl donor. What I mean by that is methyl donors are used in the body to donate a methyl group to a process that's happening in the body. In the brain, when we're converting dopamine into norepinephrine and epinephrine, there's a methyl donor that's used in that, and that's SAM. So this is very important for all kinds of different enzymatic processes in the body. Then we have L-tyrosine at five whopping grams. Tyrosine actually attributes to many different functions in the body. It actually can be converted in liver by enzymes to be used as ketones or glucose or glycogen. It can also be converted into L-DOPA, which then converts into norepinephrine and epinephrine in the brain. It also plays a role in thyroid function by helping to produce T3 and T4 hormones. So the main reason it's in a pre-workout is because this actually helps with cognitive function and focus under stress. So they've done a lot of studies with this ingredient. And on its own, if you're not stressing and you take some L-tyrosine, it does uplift a bit. It does help with cognitive function a bit. But what happens is if your brain is under stress, Stress. If you're under acute stress mentally, it actually really kicks in there and helps calm you down, helps you focus and dial in. That's the main function of L-tyrosine in a pre-workout. Then we got beta alanine at the efficacious dosage of 3.2 grams. So this ingredient is actually designed to help you get through more exercises, more reps, more sets that last between one minute and 10 minutes because this buffers some hydrogen ions that are created in the muscles when you're actually activating them. And if these hydrogen molecules get into the cells, it creates that burn slows your reps down, slows your steps down, and slows your sets down. Then we have agmatine sulfate, one gram. This acts on receptors that are on the surface of the endothelial tissues called the imidazoline receptors. These receptors actually stimulate nitric oxide production and the release of calcium. Some studies have shown that this plays a role in testosterone production by actually stimulating the release of luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone, as well as stimulating the NMDA receptors within the brain, which are part of the glutamate receptors for cognitive function and Focus. Then we have alpha GPC at a nice dose of 600 milligrams. This source of choline crosses the blood brain barrier, increasing choline within the brain. That choline is going to be drawn into the collagenic receptors, producing acetylcholine. Choline is vital for cognitive function and focus, also for energy production on a cellular level. Then we have the tripeptide, vaso drive AP at 508 milligrams. This is made up of the three peptides, valine, proline, and isoleucine. This ingredient couples super well with other pump ingredients because it actually increases enos, which is endothelial nitric oxide synthase, which is an enzyme that helps with the production of nitric oxide within the blood vessels. And I've said it before, this performs somewhat like some blood pressure medicines out there, which are called ACE inhibitors. ACE inhibitors actually stop the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. If that happens in the body and it gets to angiotensin 2, then it constricts the blood vessels. So this blocks that process as well, just like some blood pressure medicines. Then we have macunaprinus, 98% L-DOPA at 100 milligrams. 
synapse. Not only is this gonna increase dopamine within the brain for cognitive function, focus, feel good, a nice sense of well-being, but it also helps fight free radicals. That's because this is a scavenger of waste byproducts within the brain. Also, it helps chitlate heavy metals, which is a process that the body uses to remove them. Then we have good old astrogen at 50 milligrams. This is gonna help with all these amino acids to digest and get in the system pretty rapidly for you. Now, let's get into the effects of pandemics, and I'll let you guys know why I won't take two scoops again. So first, let me start with saying this. This is probably one of the best non-stem pre-workouts in 2024. This sucker hits. So I took this at one scoop and two scoop. And just so you know, both scoops hit and they deliver. So one scoop's just dialed down a bit. You have 11 grams of L-citrulline in this sucker. You have five grams of L-tyrosine and betaine and hydrous, along with the macuna and a few other things. This is gonna hit everything except the stimulation. So you have to go in with your own natural energy. This is not going to wake you up from the dead in the morning. This is a pre-workout for somebody who basically has natural energy already, and they really don't need stimulants. They don't really care, or they're having a cup of coffee or like me, I have caffeine pills. So sometimes I'm taking a non-stem pre-workout and I'm you know, leveling in my own stimulants, my own caffeine amount. So this is a fantastic hitter. I'm gonna give you guys the rundown on this. One and two scoops. Pumps are crazy. Two scoops, they are even crazier. This is endurance driven, especially if you can move and you can get things moving in the gym with some natural energy or some caffeine. This will get you pumping. This will give you some endurance. It's going to give you blood flow. You're going to be tight for hours on two scoops and on one scoop. It's going to keep you going for a few hours as well. And this is going to deliver as far as pumps goes. It's cell swelling and it's veiny at the same time. Very good job, Panda. I appreciate you guys. This was a good product. Focus, cognitive focus, function and focus are a dialed in type focus. It's not a nootropic bubble, but once you get going with five grams of tyrosine, <laughs> the first hour or so, with the mental stress you're putting yourself under and that tyrosine starts to peak, you get dialed in and you are really super productive. I like the extra macuna, which is going to hit on the adopa scale a lot sooner than tyrosine would because tyrosine takes you sometimes like an hour or so to peak, but the macuna comes in in about 15, 30 minutes. So you get that adopa hit right off the bat along with the beta alanine to where you start to feel good before a lot of the stuff starts happening. You kind of have a sense of well-being. The um, the dialed-in setup on this, like I said, is not nootropic bubble, but it's productive. This is a nice, productive focus. So I can't say anything about energy because that's going to have to come from you, natural energy, but the pumps are insane on two scoops. One scoop is fine, and the focus is insane. For a non-stem pre-workout that's healthy, that's pretty damn crazy with the dosages here. And I want to be honest with you, one scoop is fine. Then you can turn this into a 40 serving because keep in mind, the more pumps you get, is not gonna make you bigger overall. So basically you want to be able to function, you don't wanna to get too tight, and sometimes you just don't need the extra, and they really did this well. Like for those that are really into trying to get swole looking in the gym, take the two scoops. For those that are looking for productivity, nice pumps, blood flow, uh, one scoop's gonna be perfect for you guys. You're gonna still get the veininess, the cell swelling, and all that stuff. Now, why I won't take two scoops again? So here's the thing. When it comes to products like this, and this is my personal experience, L-tyrosine, and I've talked to manufacturers before, and when they come to me and they say, hey, how's this profile? And I see L-tyrosine in there at more than 2.5 grams, I cringe for myself. So as a type 1 diabetic, tyrosine is not good to be taking, taken with sugars. So as a type 1 diabetic, my sugars are never regulated. So the high amount of sugars with the high amount of L-tyrosine brings me up way too high for about two hours in the L-dopa hit and all in the thyroid, the T3, T4, and all the other mechanisms that's going to happen with tyrosine. It brings me up and then I crash to two and a half hours afterwards and I train in the morning. So for me, a product like this would be fine if I took it in the late afternoon or the evening so I wouldn't worry about it because I'll be going to bed in a few hours. But training in the morning for me, that tyrosine elevated hit with the extra glucose that's not being absorbed by my 
my cells throughout the day really does a number at five grams. Anything over 2.5 for me, it does a number on me where I crash two, two and a half, three hours after taking it. And then there are people out there that aren't type, type one diabetics or aren't diabetics that do the same thing. So the directions on this thing says start with a quarter scoop, start with a half scoop then move up to a one scoop. And they're right. They're taking care of you guys with the information as long as you read the directions. And you want to start kind of minimal first just to make sure that you're reacting well off of 11 grams of L-citrulline, one gram of agmatine, five grams of betaine and hydrates, five grams of tyrosine. So come on. So don't just jump right into it unless you are familiar with these loads and this type of a dose product, then go and jump into it. But other than that, this was a fantastic experience. This is a great product. I hope the review helped you guys. If you guys do have any questions or comments, leave them down below. You know I'll get to them. And I'm heading off to finish my day, and we'll see you next time on the channel.